I was a book editor working for a publishing company and um, I was editing a book on Thailand uh, shot by 55 uh, international photographers. It was called Thailand Nine Days in the Kingdom and I was one of the editors. So when I looked through all the photographs that were shot, thousands and thousands of them, I felt this great urge to shoot myself, you know, not shoot myself, <laughs> <laughs> to, to take pictures. So I went out and bought myself a camera and um, I started taking pictures of everything, everything that I saw. And I wanted to, I just wanted to keep taking pictures. I didn't want to do anything else. And, and uh, so I thought I would, uh, no. And then the camera was like my Pandora's box, you know. The, from the time I clicked open the shutter, all my feelings of unrest, boredom, dissatisfaction came flooding out. I was like, oh gosh, what am I doing, you know. Um, publishing is a great job. I mean, I love um, making books. But what, why, when I have everything I've ever wanted, you know, like the Singaporean 5 Cs, I've got everything, all right, and much, much more. Why am I not happy? You know, how, what am I doing in this world? So I couldn't even get out of bed in the morning. Like, I was kind of depressed. I'm like, what, do I keep going through this routine for the rest of my life? Am I just doing this to survive, you know? What, what is my purpose here on this, in this world? <laughs> so I decided to quit my job <laughs> and travel the world to see it and to find my own uh, answers. And so, but the camera, when I bought it, I didn't like even know how to use it. But the urge to shoot was so great that I kept experimenting, like trying to learn and to figure out what does this, what is aperture, what is shutter speed. It didn't make sense to me. And I refused to read the manual because it's like, ah, it's so tedious, you know, and it just, doesn't, I don't register what the instructions are trying to tell me. So, so, so I will just keep experimenting with the buttons and this is how my, my style came about, I guess, you know, through a lot of experimentation. In my previous work, Light From Within, it was a journey searching for self and meaning through spiritual worlds. Um, and I tried to, I spoke to uh, monks and nuns thinking that they might have the answers to the meaning of life. but. Finally, I found that the camera was the one that showed me the light. This work, The Light Beyond, um, I try to look for magic in the everyday, in the ordinary, because uh, I think um, spirituality is not confined to religion. You know, it's also um, found in your daily life and how you choose to live it. So in my life, I don't want to be bound by the constraints of uh, uh, conventions and customs, rules and traditions, prejudices and preconceptions. I want to break through all these lines, cross all of them, aspire to transcend both in the image by questioning the rules of uh, photography and also in life by uh, questioning everything that I'm faced with and, and rethink how am I going to confront this situation, how can I break beyond the usual uh, uh, lines, you know, to live it the way I want. So this is why I call it the light beyond. It's um, re-looking at the familiar with fresh eyes, everything. So I see the camera as my third eye. Uh, it is the eye of intuition and the eye that sees what my heart feels. So I use that to, uh, I use photography as a medium to express my vision of the world. Uh, the Light From Beyond will run at the Arts House from May 27th to June 19th. The gallery is open from 10 to 8 p. Uh, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. Please come. Admission is free. <laughs>